Hi, I want to show you one of my favourite simulations to make in Sandspiel Studio, and it's based on something called Hugene, uh, spelt like this. So I'm going to rename the sand element to Hugene and get rid of all the sand code. We don't need that. For the colour, I'm going to pick a sort of planty green colour, but you could pick any colour you want. And Hugene is all based on growth, on this uh, sort of plant-like element growing and mutating. So the first thing we need to do is to make it copy itself to make it grow like this. And can you see wherever we place this element down, it's copying itself downwards. But at the moment, it's growing over itself and anything else we put in the way. So if we put a wall below it, it will grow through the wall as well. But we want it to only grow into space, grow into where there's room for it to grow. So we need to put in a special condition for this. I'm going to grab our if block and we want to check if the thing below it, the element below it, is made up of air, of empty space, then it's allowed to grow. Okay, let's try this now. I'm going to clear the screen. Okay, so now it's only growing downwards if there's space for it to do so, which is much better. And the next thing we want to do is to make it grow in every direction, not just down. So I'm going to use this block here, and whatever we put inside it happens in a random rotation. So it could happen uh, up, left, down, right, diagonally in any direction. Let's try it out. Cool. So now our plant is growing everywhere. That's great. And to finish off our Hugene, what we're going to do is to make it that every time it grows, it's going to mutate its color a little bit. So I'm going to use this block here and pick Hue Rotate. Let's say that every time it grows, it increases its hue by one. I'm going to put it here um, into the part of the code where it grows. And can you see every time it grows now, it's cycling around um, its hue a little bit. We could change this number to change uh, the appearance of it too. We could increase it. Um, yeah, let's try increasing it a lot. Well, yeah, let's do a lot more. And you can see it cycles through those colors a lot more quickly. But the fun thing to do <clears throat> is to make it increase its hue by a random amount. So let's say it changes its hue um, from a random number between minus one and one. So we could decrease it as well. And you can see it sort of randomly changes it up and down. But I think it's sort of too hard to see. Let's make it um, do a wider range so it changes more quickly. Okay, I'm going to try this. Cool, that's changing a lot more. You could tweak these numbers however you want. You could actually make it more likely to increase um, than decrease. And you can, cr can create some really cool patterns. And that's basically it. That's, that's um, the plant part of a huge gene. There is some more that you, you can do with um, herbivores eating the plant, but I think this is my favorite bit of it. And you could then go back into the color of your element and change these to change the appearance of it. I think it looks quite amazing that it's such a simple rule, but it makes quite a cool pattern. So yeah, have a go if, if you um, like the look of this.
and try playing around with these numbers too. See what happens if you make them bigger, if you make them smaller. You could also try mutating some other things, um, like the color fade. Uh, you could see what happens if you do that. So thanks for watching. I'll post the link to this code so that you can try it out too. Thanks.